Okay, so today we are going to talk about something that a lot of people are talking about, and that is the command palette for Windows. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. Now, what is the command palette? It provides a quick and efficient way to run commands on your Windows system. It works like a search bar where you can type commands instead of navigating through all those menus. This tool is especially useful for power users who want to speed up their workflow without relying on traditional menus or keyboard shortcuts. So let's have a look at see what you can do with it then. So we've got here a list of things we can do. We've got all apps, run commands, calculator, search files, add bookmarks, switch between open windows, search the web, search Winget, install command palette extensions, search for extensions in the store, open windows, terminal profiles, windows settings, registry, windows services, open settings, create a new extension, time and date and windows system command. So let's go from the top. So we've got here all apps. Now, in most cases, we can just type in the bar at the top what we're looking for. So if we're looking for a certain app, say I'm looking for Rust Desk, OK, I'll just start to type it and up it comes Rust Desk. I can click on it and then hopefully what it will do is it will open Rust Desk. And there we go. It's opened up. Now, what if I want to run a command, say like Event Viewer, I can just type in there. And as I'm typing, it comes up Event Viewer. So just double click on that. It opens up. Then if I want to run, say, Command Prompt, so I can just type CMD. There you go. It runs. Or if I click Run Commands there. There you go. You can type in the name of the command you want to run. So, OK, I want to run, say, services.msc. Type that in, press enter or return on the keyboard and up comes services. So you've got a calculator there. So in that search bar there, you can just type equals and then you can type an equation. So, OK, let's do a simple one. One plus one. There you go. It's come up two tells you the results so you don't have to go into calculator. Search for files. Now, it seems you can't do that directly from there. You have to actually click search for, for files and then um, you type in the name of the file. So I've got a file on here called invoice. So as you can see there, yeah, it hasn't brought it up. So what you have to do is you have to double click search files there and there you go. Now it's actually brought up my invoice. So I just double click on that and there you go. It's only a test invoice. If you want to add a bookmark, so if you double click on add bookmark, you can type in the name of the bookmark, the URL. So that's the HTTP address or the file path of wherever it is on the computer. So say if I wanted to put a shortcut, say to a document there, I can just type in the path to where the document is. Um, so I'm just going to do this one here called message, just a WordPad file, just for example, and I'll give it the name message and then click save and then you'll see there they go under bookmarks or and under add bookmark you'll get message if i double click on that there you go my message should then open up if we've got other windows open i can click on switch between open windows and there you go so we've got dot file explorer there or Microsoft Edge, so I can click on Microsoft Edge and that opens Edge up. If I want to go back, just go the back there to switch between windows and go back to File Explorer and there you go. We've got to search the web there, so I can click into that, double click into that and there you go. If I want to search for, I don't know, BBC News on there, I can type that in up there, press enter or return and there you go. It searches Bing and finds BBC News. I can also do that in actual fact if I just type up there, I can type in BBC News or whatever I want to type and it actually comes up as a suggestion. Search the web in Microsoft Edge and there you go. It will search in Edge. I don't think you can get it to search in other browsers at the moment. You can go to search Winget. So if I double click on that, say if I wanted to search for an app called paint.net and there you go. I've just typed in paint dot and as you can see paint.net comes up there. Double click on that and there you go. As you can see at the bottom of the screen there, it says it's installing paint.net. Net. So it's going through the installation. So I just click yes there if it asks me and there you go. It's now downloaded it and it's now setting it up. Nice, easy way to install programs. Not everything is there in Winget, but quite a few apps and programs are. So uh, much, much easier than going to the website, finding the download and uh, manually installing it. And as you can see there, they go. Paint.net is now installed. I just double click on it. And there you go, opens up. And like I say, there are literally tens of thousands of apps in that search we can get. So uh, obviously do give that a try. If you're downloading something that you want, then try search 
we can get that will make sure that you get the official app from the official site virus free so install command palette extensions these are extra extensions that you'll be able to get for palette there there's only a few there at the moment, but obviously more will be added over time. Search for extensions in the Microsoft Store. There's nothing there at the moment, but again, hopefully within time, stuff will appear in there. Open Windows Terminal Profiles. If I double click on that, there you go. I've got the Azure Cloud Shell, got Command Prompt and Windows PowerShell. So I can select. That's a lot, lot quicker than going through the start menu and trying to find those. Windows settings, I can double click on that. And if I want, I can search something. Say if I was looking for advanced display settings, I can just type in display there. There you go, advanced display settings, double click on that. It takes you straight into the advanced display menu. Again, saves you from having to go through tons and tons of menus. Registry, navigate to the certain parts of a registry. So if you want to go straight to the H key current user or the local machine or H key users, performance data, current config, you can just double click on whichever one you want, click yes, and there you go, it takes you straight in there. Now I should say fiddling with the web registry can be dangerous, so only do that if you uh, know exactly what you're doing. Windows services, if I go into that, there you go, it gives you a list of all of the services on the computer. Now the ones in green are running, the ones in red have been stopped. And you can literally, if you wanna start a service, now not all services can be started, but you can click on the service you want and then press the return key or double click, click yes, and then hopefully that service should have started if it's available to start. Um, or you've got an option here, you can press the control key or CTRL key and enter, or you can click start or open services down there. And there you go, that will open all the services on your computer. Nice quick way of getting there. Open settings. So we've got here just the general settings for this command palette, allowing you to do some little extra things in here. You can create a new extension if you want to, if you've got the experience to do that. Date and time or time and date, there you go. All the different options there for uh, the date and the time. And at the bottom there, you've got some shortcuts to Windows system commands. Just double click on that, there you go. You can shut the PC down, you can restart it, you can sign out, you can lock, you can sleep, you can hibernate, you can open the recycle bin, you can empty the recycle bin, you can go into UEFI firmware settings. Don't go in there if you really don't know what you're doing. You can check the Ethernet IP address or the wireless IP address. You can also, this is the IPv4 address. You can also check the IPv6 address, the MAC address as well. So there we go. How do we get this great little command palette? Okay, so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to install Power Toys. So to do this, we open our browser. So in my case, this is Edge. And then we go up to the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, the address bar at the top. Click in there and then type in there cwtek.co.uk forward slash WD. That's cwtek.co.uk forward slash WD. All in lowercase and no spaces, just as it's shown on screen now. Then press enter or return on your keyboard. And if you've typed the correct address in, you should see this. Now manage your options or consent. And then you should see near the top of the screen under Windows Tools, Power Toys. Move your mouse over that, left click once, close down any adverts that appear. And then what you're looking for, if you're running a straightforward copy of Windows 11, then just click on this one here, Power Toys Setup with the x64.exe after it. Left click once on that and then it should start to download. Now, once it's downloaded, if you've got open file up there, you can left click once on that. If you haven't got open file, then close this down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner, then open up any yellow folder, go into downloads, and then you should see Power Toy Setup. Double left click on that. Okay, so now whatever method we use to open it, we should be at the same place. So click on the little box to the left of, I agree to the license terms and conditions. Of course, after reading those terms, and conditions and then left click once on install. Now if the screen darkens like it does here then you'll get this box come up like this and then all you got to do is left click once on yes. 
Now this bit might take a bit of time. It's just installing power toys and you might find it might get to the end of this part and just hang there for ages. Now don't worry if it does, it is doing something, just leave it alone. Mine seemed to hang for about five minutes the first time I installed this and it didn't look like it was doing anything, but believe you me, it is. So please just be patient with it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's just finished installing this part. And there we are. Once we see installation successfully completed, you can move your mouse over close, left click once. And then what we can do is if we've got the downloads folder open, we can delete this power toys setup. So if you haven't got the downloads window open, just click on any yellow folder, click on downloads and then left click once on power toys setup and then press the delete key on your keyboard. And there you go. That should get rid of it. And for good measure, you can always go and empty your recycle bin just by -click, uh, right clicking on the recycle recycle bin and then left clicking empty recycle bin and then clicking yes. Now how do you get the command palette to come up? Well first of all if we just click on the start button and then we just type on our keyboard power and we should then see power toys with preview in brackets. Move a mouse over that, left click once and then make sure the switch for command palette is switched on like mine is. And there you will see the you know, Windows key, Alt and Space are the keys to launch the command palette. So just press the Windows key, Alt and Space on the bottom row of keys on your keyboard, press them together. And there you go. You will now see the Windows command palette will appear and all those commands are now at your fingertips. And if this window ever disappears, then you can always just get it back by pressing those keys. That's Windows key Alt and the space bar, just push them down quickly. And there you go, it then appears. I hope you like this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes and VPNs. Buying, subscribing and donating really does help help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.